making her way to the ring, hailing from the calderas of Ningzaktu. She is the blue immortal, Akira Serula. And her opponent, hailing from parts unknown. One half of the tag team catching altitude. She's the airtime abuser. Canopy! Your referee for this match, Tuani Umazuti. Alrighty. Welcome everybody, week two, getting started with women's action. We still got the juniors later, as you know. They all four matches of them are our main event. You know, hey, I know I don't do this, but hey, I'm your host, Seth Kennedy here, commentary. You know, calling the action here as it happens. And a little more than that sometimes. Last week we were introduced to I'm, I'm just got this look. Yeah, okay, yeah, she she said some nice things about me and all that, yeah, but I'm going to have to say <laughs> the diabolical Mavison, just, wow, I mean, <laughs> she made enemies here on TV and the real nice cartwheel drop kick out of that hip toss by Cerula. The Blue Immortal scored a win last week over Purgatory. Her first win, I mean, she's she's got a massive loss record, and after, I mean, Purgatory, double champion at one time, now she's going to get Canopy, one of, one of the most, how can I say, feared good girls <laughs> there on the road and here in the women's division on TV. A nice top wrist lock right there, but short-lived, short-lived. Him a lot body slam, working the arm. The couch in altitude, they, they got a couple of wins on the road. Canopy and climber. You know, back in um, when they was uh, working the independent scene, they were uh, a tag team, but they, they didn't have a, a name. Oh man, drop kick up to the back of that shoulder, she just rolls out the ring. And Saruna so really get the crowd behind her, you know, clapping and doing what she can. She wants to get another win, I'm sure. I mean, who does it? Canopy, I mean, multi-time, you know. No, 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 she's had junior heavyweight championship, I think, once. She wants to be a tag team champion. We fall, but, but nothing comes of it. Canopy working the arm, Canopy... Not only will she um, take to the sky, but she has a brutal ground game as well. Just just like her tag team partner. Nice tiger wall flip. Nice wrist twisting wrist flip right there by Saruna. Leaping stop to the shoulder right there. Everything Saruna does, you know, she, she targets the arm. Can she, she does as well, not everything. I, I said maybe half, I guess. Man, Satellite Genesis is on breaker, sunset flip. Canopy's getting on the roll. Oh, she got caught with the elbows twice. Oh, that sunset flip. Right now, you know, it, it's, it's a good clean match here. Oh, elbow, hip toss. She got up real quick. Irish whip. Referee Tawani Umazuti is, might have a night off here. Just, you know, don't have to admonish anybody. So somebody, some of these wrestlers, oh, she missed that drop toe hole. Some of these wrestlers, they, they can keep a referee busy. <laughs> she said, oh, she kicks her right in the arm, right in the back of that arm. Oh, again. Like she was setting up for another one and Canopy was out getting out of that. Nice Frankenstein. She's 
got a headlock control. Sunset flip. Runs around and kicks it. Oh, again. Runs around and kicks that arm from under her. Jawbreaker. Canopy does that. He to slow things down. And he reset everyone. And there she go. And she got that good stunning move on. Messed somebody up for a little bit. Now she's on pure offense. Oh. Akira got the uh, upper hand right there. Oh, and kicks that arm again. Yes. Fujiwara. That grounded Fujiwara. Another Frankenstein in canopy and his elbow drop and holding that leg. Satellite head scissors all breaking. No, throw from canopy. Changing it up. She hops to the top. Nope. She, she saw Akira moving. Akira puts her in the corner. Little kick, chop. And they're going back and forth and now. Little kicks and chops. Back and forth. And yeah, those kicks were to the arm. Those unorthodox, uh, you know, little kicks right there. To the top. Nope. Sunset bomb. Nice. From Sarula. And for some reason, picked her up. And now you got that somersault DDT. And Akira gets up before Canopy can go for the pin. Nice uh, wrist flip and arm dragon screw to the ground. Oh, nice bicycle kick to the arm. Canopy's like, I'm gonna get you back. She's doing, they're going back and forth. The, the canopy, she has submitted many of her opponents just as much as she's pinned them. Drop to hold by canopy. And it's falling. Indian death lock. Shades of Antonio Inoki. The great Antonio Inoki. Almost, almost. And Mizuji says she's got the, just got the shoulder up. And she's got that Fujiwara on. Akira going for, for the win here. Hoping all that arm work pay off. Well, I'm not down. And she got it. Oh, nice throw. Nice throw by Cerula. Oh, and she snatched him. Just took it down to that Fujiwara. And got that leg extended so she can't get to the ropes. Flying cross arm breakers. You can get to the ropes now. Be fought by Canopy. Flying head scissors. Canopy pulls Akira right. Yep, and she hops to the top. Nice shooting star press. Oh, just kicks out. Just kicked out. Working that arm. Working that arm. Hammerlock. Akira's working that arm. Hammerlock. Working. Yep, targeting that shoulder right there. Now nah, we're in the ropes. Schoolgirl ain't gonna work there. Man, that, that, that was nice. That was that was nice. The Northern Lights into the cross arm breaker, hit upon the infiltrator. Not oh, when arms are shot. It makes you wonder how much longer she can hold out. They got slightly less than five minutes left in this match. Another sunset flip bomb counter from the top rope to the top rope she goes. What's she gonna do? She's waiting on something. Diving drop kick. Probably targeting the arm. Nice nip up. Goes for the pin too. No. Can't be going right back to the legs. Although she's worked the arms most of the time. They don't have much time left. Canopy, we know she she's going for the arm again. We know Canopy is a finisher. We know Akira. She 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 can finish. If she's been going to the distance or you know. Winning as of the last three matches. Canopy's arms are shot. How much more damage can she sustain? 
Oh, and there she goes. That's, that's her baby right there. Yanking on that arm. Great. Canopy does not surrender. Oh, that arm is hurt. That arm is hurt. And now she's going right back to the well with a cross arm breaker. That Juju Katani. Akira is smelling blood in that water. Oh, kick that arm. Boasting. Oh, flying cross arm breaker by Canopy. They got two minutes left in this match. Oh, that's it. Somebody call his mama. Tell me what happened. Yo, winner of the match is Akira Serula. Oh, that was a battle. That was a war. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, man. Now, we got heavyweight action coming your way next. Let's roll. Making his way to the ring, representing the land, hailing from Russia, one half of Death Unknown, the Death Panzer. And his opponent, hailing from South Africa. She is the Transfixer, Mungu Wabahadi. The referee for this match, Sycamore Subwon. All right, heavyweights in action. Pants are going at working that body. Those quick, stiff overhead forearms to the back. I mean, do it early while you got the energy to do it. And see, I'm going to have to fix this again. This is this an ongoing thing, y'all. I got to fix the, the, the gravity. It's going to drive me nuts. There we go. Hey, the quotation mark was in the wrong spot. I had to fix that thing. He was working it again. Nice punch there by Bahati. She's, um, you know, in South Africa, she's never been champion, but she's, oh, oh my God. Man, he did, he did that pop up, you know, uh, hammer punch. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised she's recovered that quick. Good grief, that 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 was brutal. Oh, again. It, I'm, I'm just stunned by this. Nice vertical suplex by Bahati. Bahati, former heavyweight champion. Man, multiple back breakers into that fallaway slam. These, these two, they're, they're, they're titans in their own right. Panzer, former Master Four champion, former former tag team champion, multiple back breakers, all the way slam. Oh, oh, another punch inside cradle by Bahati. Mungu by Bahati is. I mean, she she wants to win. She wants to get that title again. What she's told me is she's just trying to figure out how. What does she need to do? What does she need to work on? What does she need to to retrain? What does she need to stop doing? She's just trying to figure out what's wrong with her to why she can't climb the ranks. Ooh, wild bomb, two. You rarely see that out of them. And you know, I, I, I told it, wrestling is 
like anything else that you love and that's a profession you work at it every day you never master it you never you know you never stop learning you know sometimes it's to be more aggressive sometimes it's to sometimes you know relinquish certain offense to get in a higher level of offense you know it's you know that's why they call it the human game of chess you know you, sometimes you you know relinquish a bit and then you take a lot oh she just kick out just got the shoulder up like sometimes you know a complicated pin or something you can do with your size and weight you know and your your own degree of flexibility body blows he's like bring it bring it oh punch body blow punch oh overhead severe elbow strike she just nailed it transfixational pain is he in the ropes no one two you haven't seen that in ages that dead oh spear Gotta run for that bear hook, but in the ropes, aren't they? And he throws her outside the ring. He's gotta get the idea. He's gonna take a rest. She on Dream Street for a little bit. She's getting right back in. And yeah, she's she should have I know, I know, I know, but she might have she probably should have just taken a rest out there. Taking taking that small reprieve could, could mean a, a, a world of difference. As you can see on Death Pen's side, he goes for the pin. She kicks out inside cradle. She's going. She's been doing that a lot more in this match. Can she have him? No. And Panzer trying to get that rank seven. Move to Wabahati. If she, if she can win, she can challenge the champion herself. Spear hooks the leg. Nice float over and no. She kicks out. Oh, punch. She does not fall. She stands strong. Hip toss. Slamming that knee into the top of the head. Can he weather this storm? You know Panther can get real dangerous when he needs to. But these get desperate. Oh, Iron Claw. Iron Claw. She, she, she gets out of it, elbow. German suplex hold from ground. Can she hold him? No. He kicks out. And he's got destiny. Choke slam. Nailed it. And is this over? Yes, it is. And you're aware of the match is the death panzer. Now that, that was a good match. Mungua Bahari looking strong, but she comes on the losing end. We got more matches. Let's roll. Making her way to the ring. Representing focused aggression. She's the co-leader and one half of Blunt Force Submission. Persevere. opponent making her way to the ring from Germany she is unquenched rage shadow pharaohs the referee for this match AJ all right, third match of the evening, everybody. Man, double toe kick, multiple low kick by Persevere. Oh, met, oh, met by them punches. A shadow. And after that, I think uh, if Shadow can win, she'll, she'll be going after rank three. That's that's. I mean, look, if Shadow wins in the, in the mixed division, I would go after rank three. But she's, she could go after rank one. I mean, you got, I think because it's, uh, 
by the division, yeah, it's like 13 slots. So, you know, hey, and Persevere, she's trying to get up there. But because of this in tag matches, she was able to jump up some slots. So, you know, we don't, we don't round down, we round up. The idea is to challenge higher, not lower, not unless that's your game plan. In which some people it is. You know, beat the ones you know you can beat, and then you can leapfrog over those the ones you can't beat. And hopefully the ones that they can't beat block them from getting up to you. Some people, they ain't, they're not trying to get it within a month. Some play that long game, you know. It's, oh, good grief. Nice, nice left punch. And she's working those low kicks, those rapid low kicks. You know you're in there with Shadow Fellows. You, you gonna fight. You are going to fight. And that's exactly what they're doing. They are fighting. They are brutalizing each other. Irish whip by Shadow Foot Toss. Figure for a headlock. Persevere. Becoming more of who she is. Utilizing the strikes. The arm ringers and stuff like that. Bow and arrow by Shadow. On the road. Persevere and Norbert that make up blood for submission. You know, they got a they got a steady even win loss. They you know, I mean, it's it's they're literally in that we're gonna win or we're gonna lose. It's not like oh we're gonna win, we're gonna win, we're gonna win. They are literally just back and forth. And it doesn't matter which the opponent is. So, I mean, I could, I'm not going to say they're toiling on the road. If they, oh, she, working on that arm. Nice hip toss by Ferros. Two. That's the two count. And just, hey, hey, word to the wise, to anyone that's wondering how close the count is, if the ref is on two and the arm is, the hand is still in the air, it's not close. It's not a close kick out. That's just that's just two. If that hand is almost touching the match when they kick, the match when they kick out, now that's close. Just I just want to throw that out there. It's, 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 it's not a it's not a near fall when they the hand is way up in the air. Just, two. See, the hand needs to go up. Can't call that a close one. But two two is closer to three than one. I'll give it that. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, Fujiwara bridging it. Bridging that on. Look at that. Yeah, I know that took a lot of steam off of her. Head and arm choke. Yeah, head and arm triangle choke. Yes. Oh, man. Nice underhook sheer drop DDT. And that just might be it right there. Two, she put a lot of people away with it. Whoa, nope, just got the shoulder up. AJ says, just got it off the mat. Goes for the, the pin, two. You see, Shadow is like, I'm trying to finish the job and put some this. She's like, I'm still working it. You know, oh, man, nice elevated half crab there. Irish whip by Ferros. Hip toss. Uh, you, can, you can boast about the title that you want, but if you're not trying to finish them off, it's kind of meaningless. And another one. She, she, she's going for gusto. Two. Just got the shoulder up. Irish whip off those ropes and they collide. Shadow certainly didn't expect her to be right there behind her. Irish whip again by Shadow. Oh, that looping over here, right, right hand to punch right there. She might have her. No. Persevere has her name for a reason. Elbow standing switch, backslide. Missed that elbow. Basement drop kick. Oh, 
Boom! Left, left straight right there. But you got her up. Gloria home. But they in the ropes. And she got a wrist clutch, middle kicks by Persevere. Man, nice alternating body kick. That seated on bar by Persevere. Shadow is waiting. A nice slap across the head, and she's boasting. Filling them oats. She's filling them oats. Oh! Bare knuckle punch to the back of the head. German suplex holds from the ground. Nice combination of moves, and she gets her. Your winner of the match is Shadow Ferros. Hey, come on now. Look, she ain't the one that did you wrong. Hey, rep, AJ, do something. AJ, what the hell? You done? I hope you're done. Damn. All right, we got we got tag team action coming your way. All right. So after that, we got the juniors. Let's roll. Making their way to the ring, representing New Era Rising. First, Emerald Storm and her partner from Japan, DNC Devil. They are Devolution Storm. And their opponents, representing Natural Born. First, Natural Born Master and his partner, Natural Born Leader. Together they are Natural Born Conquerors. Referee for this match, Pesky. All right, tag team action, everybody. Oh, popping them. They're gonna pop each other. Okay. I don't know how I'm gonna body slam. Okay. Start off a little aggressive for what I'm used to from there. Normally it's a little slower than this from both teams, but you know, I, hey, th this is the classic, everybody. Devil working on that arm. And they're working each other's sleeper hold. Y'all have to get back in the ring. It's going to be a short match. Devil makes the tag to Emerald Storm. Lita makes the tag to Master. Say slid in the chair as always. Lita raised the face it's like, you know what? A little goodbye present from earlier. <laughs> Body slam, remember stories to see Master outside the ring. He's like, I ain't going out there after you. We're going we gonna to wrestle. Emma Storm is a wrestler. She don't, she don't really go outside the ring much at all if she do. It's like, where's your losses happen here in, in the squared circle? Master knocks her down, gets that half crab on her, but short lived. Hammer throws her to her own corner, rushes in, and she evades a clothesline and got an inside half crab of her own. Master's gonna tag. You, know, you can't short sell Storm. You know, multi, multi champion, you know. Junior. Tag, you know, she, she's done it. She's had wars in that ring. I mean, wars with the matriarch and Soberano. Against the devil, nice triple suplex, runs in with that dashing drop kick. Nice forearm. Popping master right in the face. Elbow to the back. Forearm. Master fly. Take this. Take this Manhattan drop. <laughs> Achilles stretch. Now this 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 is is natural born's game right here. You get him to the ground. Stretch him. You know, beat on him. 
Got him in the corner. And let's in together. Missed the clothesline or elbow, but neither didn't. He's like, look, I didn't run all the way in, you know. I just let my brother to hang hang out to dry. <laughs> just let him run in and take that. Oh, the devil's like, hey, I can do that too. All right now, the devil needs to get away from here and get back to his own corner. That's what he needs to work on. Abdominal stretch by leader. When the storm coming in, feels that her, her uh, tag partner and husband needs the, uh, the assist there. Oh, popped in the face. Irish whip off those ropes, jumping knee by leader. Rolling elbow. Devil has to make the tag. Crowd murmurs in, in confusion. They're like, why didn't he go for the pin after that elbow? That's what I'm assuming anyway. Get a nice rolling elbow, but pick him up. Nice return close line there by Master. Kitchen sink. Guillotine drop. And yep, boss reverse Boston crab by storm. Storm with the suplex. Rolls it over. There's a second. There's a third. Oh, she's still going. Fourth. She got him up. Pentaplex. And she's going to... Queen's Northern Light Bomb from Emerald Storm onto Leader. She was on the road. Master's like, we got to slow this down. He calls for the Lariat. He's coming off those ropes. Here he comes. Big time, that good grief just destroyed her. And you know, I don't say that often. You don't talk about somebody getting destroyed. That was it. She's slowly, slowly get up. And she, she come. They get two. Is it three or is it five? Three. Trifecta plex, I guess. Those, those triple rolling suplexes. It makes the tag, and now let's take the whole gamble is bro a broken up by leader. Rolling elbow, a miss, but that stranglehold takedown past the guard, Juju Katane. And we're throwing breaks that up, climb to the top, diving guillotine drop to the top. So another diving guillotine drop. Diving Moose Salt Press by DC Devil. It will storm the cause interference. And three. And they win in spectacular fashion. Yo, winners of the match. A DNC Devil. Man. Devolution Storm did it up. Man. All right. We got juniors coming your way. Can they, can they, I mean, I don't care about that score right there. Can, can the juniors follow this up? Let's roll. Making her way to the ring, representing Deadly Wrestling Alliance Sisterhood and one half of Denard Del Gothen, she is the Brain Mangler, Turquiz. And her opponent, representing reality. One half of Limbo, hailing from the timeless void, Eternal. The referee for this match, Faye, look at my knees, boy, lean. Yeah, that's right. Her and her knees. All exposed. Something the matriarch wouldn't stop talking about when she's when Fabolina doing the shorts. You know what sucks? I've never made a thing saying, "Oh, you know, no shorts, no, no wrestling boots." I, I just you know dress professionally. Here's your referee's attire. You know, choose your size. You know, <laughs> you're starting off. You know, you got the the white and black. You, then you graduate to the uh, the the. Say the yellow, 
and then once you get way up there, then you're, you're in, you know, the, the golden. So, I, I never said don't wear shorts and stuff, but don't worry, I changed that when Faye showed me up there. I thought it was funny, I was pissed, but I also found it funny. So it is what it is. I was like, Faye, you got me. You earned your keep. You got me. I was like, your knees gonna get messed up, you know, when you're getting on that mat, trying to count. You know, you get all scraped up. You know, you better invest in cocoa butter. And these two, these two females, these two women, you know, hey, look, Turquil, Master Four Champion, right? You know, she she did that. She did that thing. You know, she's she's also you know up there in the women's division. You know, uh, I believe rank one. But you got Eternal, nice with already backdrop by Eternal, keeping it going. Nice backdrop. Eternal, you know, hey, Road Junior Champion. You know, a, a couple of times. I mean. She was a great one. I'm, I'm not gonna lie about that. She's great. You know, junior champion here when she got when she came to see our fire pro from the Indies. Good grief! Nice, nice wild bomb into the reverse crab. I think she did that early on. What did she know about Turquoise? Was Turquoise hurt. And yeah, you get to see every this castigation out there and we may show that too. So you got both Denardell Goten and Castigation. I think Castigation former champions losing to Malfeasance you know, at, at uh, Rhodes Big Event uh, after uh, TV's Cold Dawn. So, man, the longest reigning road tag team champions. That's what Castigation did. You know, Castigation, they defeated one of the most prolific and dangerous tag teams in uh, as uh, Cold, Ice and Sipper. They defeated it four times straight. Made it seem not easy, but not difficult either. They defeated Redemption, who was the only team that could give Cold a run for their money. Defeated them twice. And she's representing that, her and the Sledgehammer Fist. Just, you know, it's too late to get up there. Is this it? Is this it? No. I mean, they all up there. Get off that damn April. You know what? Life and death is following me. Oh, she dropped Brain Buster. Now, she's in one, two, three. That would, see, y'all distracted. Y'all distracted. Y'all still distracted. Wild Bomb transitions into the, yep, right into the reverse half or reverse crab. She's on the road. She got her up. Brain Buster. Eternal is like, I'm getting that title again. One, two, it might be too late. No. And Vime Sholeru and Ledger of Pugnus went up there and she got the crab on again. Turquip is taking a beating. And yeah, Bled Ledger's like, I don't know what she said, but it must have really got her attention. Oh, that's what she said. Oh, that was nasty. Oh, my spy is letting me know. She, she's, got, she's not distracted by all the sounds in the crowd. And there go Leudra's Dublin. She's up on the apron now. Push one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. She missed that one. Circling around. Oh, knee to the bread basket. To the top. Nice Phoenix Flash. These two women are fighting. Rolls are over on the. Oh, is that I just went left with the trash in the ring. Half a table. What do you do with half a table? And a small one at that. Oh! Spikes him. Sledgehammer fist? No! Upkick. Eternal is out on her feet. Oh, she's recovered now. Irish whip by Turk whip. Oh, Taser chop. Oh, she's feeling good about it. She's got her. Oh, drop toe hold. 
He's got a reverse crab and, and Blazer of Pugnus Wind is up there again. Stop pushing the ref. Up there again. Fabolini. I got like leave, leave them talking to themselves. But they're doing the right thing. Doing the right thing. Man, Dublin, you think she's just standing on the apron already. He is tall. Smooth girl roll up in her corner. And she got it. And your winner of the match is Turfwood. All of reality is mad. I don't give a damn. All right, we got Mo. Let's roll. Making her way to the ring, representing Deadly Wrestling Alliance Sisterhood, and one half of the Bludgeoners, Lady Hammerfist, Gibi Maru. And her opponent, representing Natural Born, and one half of Natural Born Dominion, hailing from the Republic, the Republic of Bulgaria, Natural Born Tsaritsa. The referee for this match, Yana Two Jiggy. Got tongue tied there. I was get tongue tied when introducing Saritza. Just I don't know what it is when I try to say Republic of Bulgaria. I get the, the Republic because I always weird. I've never said it the same way, but I never say it the right way. I can never get Republic right. It's weird. Sort of like uh when I uh introducing Turk Whip, I thought. It's a joke that I thought about. It's not really a joke, no, it's just an observation. Ow! I just bit my tongue. Oh, that hurt. But, good grief. But yeah, the brain mangler, I'm thinking, not, not talk to the matriarch about it. And I, I was like, isn't it weird? You know, you want to spell, you know, brain, you'll spell Brian. Oh, come on now. And see that? And they all gang up on Gibby Maru. All of them. Well, not all of them. Sage is just dictated. Gibby Maru is taking a beating out there. My goodness. Natural born overlord and natural born empress. I mean, they just took liberties. Gibby Maru has an uphill fight, but yeah, you want to spell Brian, but spell Brian, but every time you want to use a character, you want to make up a character in some kind of fiction or whatnot, fan fiction or anything, you never think Brian. <laughs> it's just weird. Anyone think about that? Man, nice, nice suplex there by Sarita. Her and, as you see, uh, Natural Born Overlord out there with the mask on, you know, they make up Natural Born Dominion on the road. they got more losses than anything, but they've also got uh, uh, some wins, and the wins that they get are usually very significant. Give you Maru now, see, normally she presses everything, but she got devastated out there. She really, she fell into a beehive. So now she's playing a bit more defensive offense. You know, back pedal, back pedal. Oh, nice fast clicks. But the back pedaling, go for the wing. There we go. Hooking that leg, doing the right thing. Just barely kicked out. Give you Maru, I I can't, it's hard to dislike her. It really is, because she just wants to fight. She's so single-minded and just wants to fight. Just fight. Just, just, that's just what she wants to do. I'll be honest with you. I, I, I have to be honest. If I, if I'm, if I really want to win, I, I want to get this title. I would consider throwing Gibby Maru outside the ring again. Uh, especially, I mean, mainly on my side. I mean, whew. they, 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 they jumped on Gibby Maru out there. Okay, I, I, 
It's outside the ring, but it ain't where it needs to be. But hey, it is what it is. Let me go let you publish me. It's Anissa missing that leg tackle. She's got her locked. There's Plex. Hooks that leg and one, two. It's a little bit late, yeah. Just that little bit of distraction. Just that little bit. Oh, popped her. Just tattooed her. Puts her ears in the corner there. Making her face across the ropes. Oh, elbows. Those mounted elbows. She goes behind. Sarisa does another fist plex. It's like, what, the fourth one of the match? Hooks that leg. One, two. Not yet. She popped her good with that slap. Irish whip off those ropes. She's going to give me Maru. Go behind. Take down. Hammer fist right to the back of the head. Working it. That might have taken a little steam out of Saritza, but it's hard to tell. Nice hammer lock to behind. Elbow standing switch. Standing switch. Dragon suplex. Rolls it over. No nope. standing switch after that elbow. Elbow to the back of the head. Stunned her. Popped her. Overhead punch popped her. Waiting on her. She's just tired, I think. Gibi Maru's in the wrong corner. And I wouldn't go out there, Gibi. I wouldn't go out there. And let's go, go Empress. Man, rolling suplex. Dragon suplex. Dragon suplex. Elbow. Standing switch. Standing switch. Trick knee standing switch. Push whip. And Gibi Maru is dizzy in the ring. 19 and 20. And she wins via count out. Yo, winner of the match is DB Maru. That was an intelligent win. That that was the that's the good job, DB Maru. I <laughs> I got to applaud that one. All right, we got two matches left. You gonna imagine who they are, huh? Let's roll. Making her way to the ring. Representing focused aggression. One half of Texas has. She is the Texas Plancha. Vicky Williams. And her opponent. From China. Representing Destroyers of Anatomy. He is the backdrop lover. Beijing Pingren. The referee for this match, Quintessa Morella. All right, here we go, Junior. No one outside the ring. Yay, we're clear. Everyone stay in the back today. <laughs> Vicky Williams, she's trying to get to that rank five. This is the juniors taking the, the, the bottom four most eligible juniors and having them climb the ranks because this, this month, you know, Unbreakable Tundra represents junior division. It all began uh, when we first started. It was called Ascended Beginnings. You know, juniors who we represented first. Black back drop kick missed. We closed the gap and stepped just a little bit out of the way. That's all Kingery needed to do. Shoulder knocked down. Boston Crab. And the switch, schoolgirl. She flowed right into that. Go behind, elbow butt. You gonna have to watch out. You, you know you. 
you know, the rear waist lock on Vicky Williams. She's been out of that into that schoolgirl roll up. That, that could spell doom. Got to, so you got to be careful. Like, oh, man, bulldog headlock. Vicky Williams, you know, uh, junior, junior champion and, uh, you know, tag champion. Nice arm drag. Elbow. Drives that knee into the back of the leg. 20 minute matches. Bulldog headlock counter. Whatever, whatever Beijing trying to do, she's countering the hell out of it. Kitchen sink. He got that at least. Beijing Junior is one of the uh, one of the strongest, fearsome juniors that we have. Even toppling, you know, certain heavyweights in you know easy fashion. You know, being uh, getting to the finals twice at the Typhoon's in you know, uh, you know Typhoon's in faction leader tournament. You know, being bested by Kaijin on two occasions, you know, that that was if not for Kaijin, he would have been a probably I would just I would say he would have won it twice for destroyers of anatomy. You know, and Typhoon's in part of our summer series. Well, okay, yeah, we know you're strong. Shot him right outside the ring. One. Here's the thing. Right now, both of them are being methodical. They both know what each can uh, each other can do. This ain't their first time. This plex, and that's what she was looking out for. That's what she was trying to avoid. And he popped her with it. We saw Sanitza use it at nausea. Elbows. back when you working with somebody that you know is dangerous like this both of them you're going to be a little hesitant because you know any mistake especially a major one even if it's not a mistake just the gap that you leave when they take advantage it's going to hurt and it's going to hurt bad. So yeah, being on guard is something like that. And someone starts getting on the roll. And she's working that on. And see, Vicky's a little hot head at points. As soon as he lands a move on her, one of them hurtful moves, she comes right back. She comes, she brings it right back at him. And then slow it down again. You want to conserve yourself best that you can. She could have gone for Long Star Press right there, but she she's waiting on something else. The good thing he got her clear headed. She's in the corner. He's got a Connor Roll German Suplex Chaos Theory two. Got him in the corner. Multiple knee strikes. Working that arm, jumping arm breaker. Juju Katami got roughly uh, nine, roughly nine minutes left in this match. He's got her up. Unadi backdrop rolls it over. Push whip, kitchen sink, goes to it. Ghetto stretch, taking advantage of that of that body damage and no, just a two count. Yeah. Frankensteiner. Elbow drop to the arm, rolling knee drop to the head. Go behind, running, jumping, arm breaking. Putting the knees to the forearm, working it, working it, working it. No, he doesn't give up. He's looking for that next back drop, but there he goes. Naughty back drop, 
rolls it over. Got her. No. Elbow butt by her. Arm ringer. Working that arm again. Working it. Jumping arm breaker to finish it off. He gets up. Throws her. Irish whip reversal by Vicky Williams. Frankenstein. No. Who the can run her? Two. No. Just two. His arms are hurting. There's Plex. He goes for the pin. Two. No. These two are going to brutalize each other. Irish whip. Go behind. Sorry for the technical difficulty, folks. It happened like this on the road last week, and I apologize for that as well. He's been doing it on and off. Don't worry about that. Contessa Morella, she just counts slow. Go behind. Elbow. I'll be right back, folks. I'll be right back. everybody I'm back I'm back whoo alrighty man avalanche there's plex off the ropes one two no and they are 16 minutes in four minutes left kick clutch is not going to work I had, to let, I had to let my baby girl in into the office here Man, she took him down. Takes his cover hole. Whoa, she spills outside the ring. Yeah, it's my baby girl's birthday today. And she wanted to be in the office here with me, so she's just going to sit here. She's just watching the monitor next to me. That's what she's doing. Man, nice and already backdrop outside the ring. There's Plex outside the ring. He's hoping that she don't get up. No. Release German suplex from Brown. Vicky is up and she has been devastated outside the ring. These two have been brutalizing each other. Oh, she went for that victory roll. He countered that. Carolyn lifts slam. Beijing King is on the roll. She's up after that German suplex. She's got him up. No, back body drop. Elbow. She goes behind. Push whip. Waits on him. Oh, she tried to. She went for that Frankenstein or that Hudakarana. He he bulldozed her over off those ropes. Standing switch. He's got her up another fast plex. She got up first. Vicky showing that strong heart. One minute left. Texas cover hole. She's going for gusto. She's got it on too. And no, he survives. Those are off. Less than a minute. Kid Clutch in the ropes, though. Contessa Moreta, she is definitely on point. You can hear the announcement of 30 seconds left. Multiple standing switch. There we go with that, that float over schoolboy, too. No. It throws it outside the ring. 10 seconds left. Assuring that this is a draw. And they are not happy. Y'all see about this? Uh, okay. We'll have to see what Spout says. We got one more match. Let's roll. This is your main event of the evening, making her way to the ring from China, representing Destroyers of Anatomy and one half of the tag team Tuadui Tijiao. Fixated exploit, Milian Leon. And her opponent, representing Deadly Wrestling Alliance Sisterhood, 
one half of the tag team, the Bludgeoneers. She is the Nasty Dragon, Keihasu. The referee for this match, Cherry. All right, nobody at ringside. I, I text the message. I'm like, mm, just keep them back. You know, just they're not allowed. We want a one on one. Tired of sisterhood being at ringside. And since Chinga didn't have any help, Lily and Leon don't need to have any help. I find it fair. I want I want to see a good clean main event. That's what I want. We saw how Lily and Leo, I mean almost almost severely injured the matriarch. Luckily she came out with really nothing. Um, you know, just a, just a, a bruise and you know, ice, you know, ice, heat, you know, anti inflammatories, uh, you know, Tylenol. But, you know, chase it down with some coffee to help it activate faster or some ibuprofen. You know, these are things that you can do, you know, and it helps a lot, especially with plenty of rest. <laughs> having, a, having a little spats there. And she's tearing that knee up, punching it, just punching that knee. Ooh. And that. Uh, it's, it's, I think she's targeting the knee or the uh, outside of the pelvis. Oh, oh, she she tried that thumb to the eye. She tried. Elbow to the back. You gonna kick it? That little annoying kick to the forehead by K. Hasu. Yeah, that that man's got to be hurt. Mm. Nice duck there by Leon. Front kick to the patella right there. Oh! Preemptive strike from Keihasu. Getting ahead of that slap. She just elbowed her, thumbed in the eye, got ahead of it. I don't agree with the thumb to the eye, but I mean, uh, she didn't get that name for nothing. She earned that on the indie scene. Oh! He got side headlock. Right now, K. Hasu's in control of this match. Ugh! strikes to the top of the head. He was that kick, but not that basement drop kick. And we know Millie Leon will tear a leg up with them basement drop kicks. Oh! And the eyes! Ugh! Whoa! She had to. She tried to blow fire on him. What in the world? Melia Leon, I, I, I don't think she can have that scouted, but she knew she had to be real. She probably thought it was going to be missed. She, she probably wasn't expecting fire. Rolls over and applies the Campbell Clutch. Basement drop kick. Melia Leon, she's, she's, she's looking out now. And I mean that basement drop kick, it serves two things. I mean, if she happens to do that as she blows more fire, she will be getting out the way by default. So that's a great move for offense simultaneous evasion. Oh, Millie and Leon looking a little tired. She's leaning over. She that camel clutch, is that what did it? Seven minutes, Leon normally ain't tired. Keihasu is doing, I mean, she's not being as aggressive as she normally would be. Oh, man, Leon is, yeah, she's tired. Basement drop kick. Keihasu will not let her rest. No matter how much pain Keihasu is in, she is definitely going to keep chasing after Milian Leon. Side headlock applied by Keihasu. Man. K. 
Kiyosu is, is, is testing and yet stalking. Push whip. Oh, slap by Lillian. And she got that knee. Just like, like she had on Matriarch. That standing knee lock. Kiyosu got her slamming her head right into the corner. And nope, only a two count. Only a two count. Basement drop kick by Leon. Good block there by Kayasi. Basement drop kick should go work it. I know it don't seem like it too much, but right now Kayasu has steadily fallen into the game plan of Mili and Leon. And Leon is taking advantage with those drop kicks and these half crabs. Single leg takedown, wrenching on that knee. I feel reversal. Kayasi holds on. Leon is just tired. She can't, she can't get her win back. Kayasi's working that camel clutch. And I'm thinking that camel clutch might have been what did it. I mean, someone wrenching on your abdomen like that and your neck, it's a chokehold in two senses. If you can't get too much air in your abdomen, you're going to be short of, I mean, that's where your diaphragm is. It controls a lot of breathing and, and when you're talking, you're working it. You know, and pulling that neck back, that's a choke. Back and forth they go. No one drops until that drop to a hold by Leon, who's trying to get her breath back. Man, that was a stiff front kick by Kayasu. Hammer throw by Leon. Kyosu got her in the corner. Stomping her down. Face washing. Face washing. Kyosu going up top to do something. Diving King Kong. Knee drop missed or Queen Kong. And she missed. And I do have it on, on the good authority that she's the one that trained castigation to do those. Basement drop kick. These are more defensive now than offensive. And Kehasu will not relinquish. She's keep oh, she gave her that arm and it was cross arm breaker. Leon seems like she's starting to find her her stride. Oh my god! I guess that's allowed. One. Two. Seeing that it happens and there's really no, there's nothing to ref. I mean, it's, it, what's done is done. That leg is hurt. That leg is hurt, everybody. That leg is hurt. How much longer can she she hold out? Five minutes is what she's going to need if she wants to take it to a draw. This, this right here, this is a contest. What? Hey, Riff! Oh my god! This ain't one! What about DQ? She just blew fire, hit him with brass knuckles! This shouldn't stand! Yo, what if the match is K Hasu? I... Oh my goodness. I guess she didn't need help. She had knuckles. Oh my goodness. Any case. It is. I don't. I don't. I don't. Hey, the referee got the final say. I don't know. In any case, look, it's been nice hanging with y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed the show. I'm gonna get on up out of here. We're gonna see if that match between Kingrin and Vicky Williams will be allowed on the road. So, with that said, it's been Cedric Kennedy for CR Wrestling, CR Wrestling Commentary, CR Fire Pro, CR Fire Pro Road, Pain Nagging Wrestling, which will be happening Wednesday. Wednesday and all that stuff that awesome juicy good natured feel good educational wisdom of epic magnitude stuff in the description below check them out tell them I said hi show them some love give us some likes subscribes and views do that stuff and with that said
Good night, everybody.